Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back or it's your first time here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be using only one eyeshadow palette to create my whole entire look. So other than my mascara, concealer, and foundation, everything else that you see on my face, so my bronzer, my contour, my blush, my lips, my eyes, my brows, everything else was created by using only one eyeshadow palette. And today we are using the Tarte Tarlet in Bloom. Now I have done this challenge before, but using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. So I will link that down below if you want to check that out. Now you guys may or may not know that the Tarlet in Bloom is my all-time favorite palette. So I really wanted to show you guys how versatile this thing is and that you could actually use this to complete your whole entire face. Even though this product is marketed as an eyeshadow palette, in all reality, a powder is a powder and a powder could be used all throughout the face. Face. Hopefully this will make you look at eyeshadow palettes in a little bit of a different way So I really hope that you guys enjoy it Definitely do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you do and let me know in the comments what palette I shouldn't do next and I also wanted to let you know that I have tagged some friends to do this challenge next Because I would love to see more people doing this because I think it is really fun. So without further ado Let's get right into it. All right So as you guys are able to see I do already have my foundation and my concealer already on my face just because I want to actually be able to wear this out of the house and I know that if I actually try and mix like a powder foundation with the eyeshadow palette It's just gonna look crazy So I think the first thing we're gonna do is bronze up the face and I have been staring at this eyeshadow palette for like 10 minutes just trying to figure out a good color combination to create a bronzer shade and I think I may have figured it out So I'm going to mix Jet Setter, Smarty Pants and a touch of Rebel The reason why I'm mixing these two shades over here is because Jet Setter is more of like a cool mid-tone brown and then Smarty Pants is a little bit warmer and I feel like mixing both of them together will create something a little bit more neutral and then I'm adding in Rebel just a touch of it to add a little bit of warmth because obviously we want to bronze up the skin and add some warmth to it so Let's do this. Don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest with you. So like I said, I'm going to mix Jet Setter and Smarty Pants together. And to add a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna just like dab my brush into Rebel, go back between the two, another dab into Rebel, back between the two. Just to get a really nice little combo over here. That honestly looks like a bronzer shade. Let's start off on the cheekbone area. I'm gonna start off with a really light hand. All right, so far so good. I actually feel like this is a really pretty bronzing shade. It's not too warm at all. It's not looking red or orange. And it's definitely giving a little bit of shape and like warmth to my skin. So I think I definitely came up with a nice little color combo for this. Now that I'm not so scared, I'm going to re-dip my brush into Jet Setter, Smarty Pants, and Rebel and actually just go in a little bit harder with this shade. You can see I, I have a little bit more product here. Let's do it on the other side, starting off slow. And all three of these shades are matte. I think that's important to mention. Are you guys impressed with this? Because I really am. I'm really surprised that this actually turned out. I was expecting it to look red because of the Rebel shade. I really thought that it would make it way too warm, but I really think that mixing these two shades together first made the biggest difference. All right, so this is the final result for the bronzer. I actually think this looks really, really natural. Like I said, it's a really nice, just like neutral tone. It's not too warm at all and also not too cool toned. I'm happy with this. I think it's time to move on to contouring. So now to contour, I'm gonna take this little MAC brush. This is my 169 and I'm going to go into Jet Setter. I'm using this shade because it is really nice and cool toned and I think I'm actually going to use the smallest amount possible of Activist just to deepen it up just a little bit. I gotta be really careful with the shade though because it is super pigmented and very intense and it's obviously a really dark brown, but I do feel like this is a little bit too light for me. However, if you are more on the fair side, like if you're a little bit lighter than me, this would probably just work perfectly by itself as a contour shade, honestly. I'm gonna tap off the excess. I'm actually just going to blend a little bit on the back of my hand just to get off any excess and test out that shade looks good and now i'm going to apply this in the hollows of my cheeks to contour a bit and it worked yes i really do think that the activist shade really darkened up jet setter like perfectly not too dark but it darkened it up enough that it's actually showing up on my skin and it looks like a really beautiful contour shade i am noticing just by applying that bronzer and then this contour shade that these powders are blending so nicely on the skin. I knew that they blended well on the eyes, but I am really impressed with the way that they're actually blending on the face. I'm getting no patchiness at all, and it's just going on really nice and smoothly. 
So you guys know how much I love a really good cool tone brow shade. So I'm gonna go back into Jet Setter for my brows and I know I'm using this color a lot, but it seems to be sort of like my saving grace already. And I'm also going to do the same thing that I did for the contour and sort of just dab my brush a little bit into Activist to darken up the shade just a little bit so it's not too light. And now I'm just going to fill my brows in with this combo. So far, so good. But this is honestly pretty spot on for a brow color. Like that matches my brows perfectly. I think for the front of my brow, I'm going to wipe off my brush, not go into Activist at all, and just go into Jet Setter, just so that there's a little bit of a fade going on and the front of my brows are a little bit lighter than the tail end. And with that thought in mind, actually, I'm gonna go back into Activist alone, not with any Jet Setter, and sort of just Fill that in on the sparser areas, especially near the tail, to give a little bit more color there. Now it's giving a really nice and subtle sort of fade. So now it's time to actually apply the eyeshadow to my eyes. Now I do already have some concealer down on my eyes, so they're already nicely primed. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So I'm sort of feeling like a cool tone spotlight smoky eye just because I've been playing with a lot of warm shades lately and really not a lot of cool tones. So I think I'm gonna focus on like the gray and gunmetal shades on the top row. Let's try something a little bit new today. So I'm gonna go into a big fluffy brush and I go into Jet Setter. So sorry that this is becoming so repetitive with using Jet Setter in like every part of my face, but it's really just an awesome shade. And I'm just going to apply this right above my crease. And I'm gonna go in big circular motions and I'm really gonna apply a generous amount of this stuff. I'm also going to make sure that I sort of bring the eyeshadow on the inner corner of my eye, like right over here, as well as on the outer corner of my eye, because like I said, I am gonna do a spotlight smoky eye today. Spotlight smoky eyes is like my favorite eyeshadow technique if I want something a little bit more glam. I just find it's really flattering. I think it looks a little bit different and it's super easy to do. So now I'm gonna go into a smaller blending brush. This is my Morphe R39 and I'm going to go into Smoke Show, which is the deep gray shade. And I'm actually gonna tap off a lot of the excess. I applied a little bit too much because I wanna go in with a small amount of product first. I do wanna build this up slowly so that the blend is nice and seamless. So I'm just taking a touch of the color and starting to build it up into my crease and outer corner and inner corner of my eye, still letting Jet Setter sort of peek through right at the top. So now I'm gonna go into a smaller brush. This is my Morphe M506, and I'm gonna go back into Smoke Show. And by using a smaller brush and just concentrating the color a little bit more, it's gonna make the color appear a lot deeper, as you can see. I'm really just gonna concentrate this on the very like specific points in my eye, like right on that outer corner into the crease and on the inner corner. But like I said, you still want the other colors to peek through so that there is a blend. So now I'm taking a small little synthetic brush, and I'm gonna take Rocker, which is that silvery taupe shade. I'm just gonna pop that right Right in the center of my lid, sort of where we left that empty space. And now I'm gonna flip my brush around and I'm going to go into Funny Girl, which is the corner shade right over here. This is probably my favorite shade in the palette. So I'm gonna grab a touch of this and I'm actually gonna apply this like directly in the center of my lid to add a little bit more of a highlight there so that the eye almost looks wet. So I'm not layering it on top of rocker, I'm just sort of applying it right in the center. So now let's work on the lower lash lines. I'm gonna grab a pencil brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of Jet Setter, and I'm just going to run this onto the lower lash line as the like transition shade for the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna take more of a precise smudger brush. This is my Sigma E20. I'm gonna go into Smoke Show again, and just press this up against my lash line. I really want to put some darkness right on my waterline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my brush with a setting spray, go into Smoke Show and use that on my waterline. Now I would definitely not recommend this if you wear contacts or if you have sensitive eyes because you're definitely going to get a little bit of powder in your eyes. I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there because I don't want your eyeballs to hurt. So now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take a little bit of Funny Girl and I'm also going to mix it a bit with Flower Child. I always like to mix a little bit of a matte shade with a super sparkly shade, especially when I'm doing my inner corner. I don't know why, I just find it works really well. And I'm taking this on my Smith 302 brush and I'm just going to apply this right on the inner corner of my eye to keep my eyes looking nice and open. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara. This is my YSL The Shock. 
I'm just gonna apply this to my upper as well as my lower lashes. Now let's move on to the rest of the face. Let's finish things off. So I'm going to apply some blush now that I have an idea of what the eyes look like. I think I'm gonna use mostly Sweetheart and just a touch of Rebel. I think this is gonna create a really pretty like soft, medium pink, neutral-ish blush. So this is the shade that that created and I'm just gonna start to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. By the way, guys, I'm not wearing highlighter at all. I don't know why my face looks so glowy. I really think it's because of the foundation I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation, and I forgot how glowy it makes my skin look. It's crazy. It looks like I'm already wearing a highlighter when I'm definitely not, I promise. So I'm going to grab Funny Girl to highlight a bit. Now, this is definitely going to be very, very intense and very dramatic. It's really pretty, though, but this is definitely a very metallic highlighter. You're also gonna highlight my cupid's bow bit. Like, look at that. It's intense. Okay, so for the lips, let's try a metallic lip. Let's see if it's gonna work. Now, I normally, honestly, am not the biggest fan of metallic lips for myself. I don't really usually like the way that they look. So we're gonna try the metallic lip and then we're gonna try something a bit more wearable as well, just to see what they both look like. So I'm going to take a little synthetic brush. This is my Morphe G15, and I'm going to grab Rocker, which is the shade that we applied in the center of the lid. And I think it could be sort of cool if we apply metallic lip in the same shade. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the product and spray it with some setting spray. This is the All Nighter from Urban Decay what I have on hand. You could also use Fix Plus. That would honestly probably be better. I'm going to pick up a little bit more and I'm going to start to apply this on my lips. I think it's sort of cool. Not 100% sure how I feel about it, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you rock this type of lip with this eye look? I would love to know. So now let's take this off and let's put on something a little bit more wearable and see what that looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna apply Jet Setter first just to see what it's gonna look like. It creates like a really awesome cool tone nude. Reminds me a lot of maybe a mix between like Sepia from Anastasia and a little bit of Bone Arrow from uh, Kat Von D. So this is what the lips look like after a ton of layers. It does feel like it's sort of sucking my life out of my lips, but I think it is pretty cool that we got such like a trendy lip color. So that actually finishes off the look using only Tartlet and Bloom Palette. So that is it for the full face using the Tartlet and Bloom Palette. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I found it entertaining and of course helpful. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know what other palettes you'd like to see me use next in this type of video. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!